first thing that's gonna happen when this baby comes out of you is the baby is gonna get what's called an APGAR score. So the APGAR score is a rating of the baby on a scale of one to 10, and it is just a basic assessment of how's the heart beating, how's the breathing, how's the muscle tone. It is just a basic assessment of is this newborn doing the things it needs to be doing in the first minutes after it's born, all right? And the APGAR score happens when the baby is one minute out of you, and it happens when the baby is five minutes out of you. And to be fair, we are usually so focused on the fact that this is a baby and not a kitten or a puppy, we're not usually aware that our practitioner is even doing the APGAR score. All right, usually a distant voice says to us, oh, your baby's APGAR is eight and nine, or nine and nine, or seven and nine, or eight and eight, or whatever combination that it's going to be, all right? Once this is done, this, I want you to be reassured that the APGAR score has no bearing on what college your child will go to or how popular they will be. Again, it's just so that all doctors and midwives and nurses and pediatricians are using the same language to understand what was happening in those moments after the birth and does that baby need any assistance in those moments after the birth um, and generally not. So the other thing I want you to be, to be aware of is that babies never get a 10. All right, so right now, everybody just take a deep breath. <sighs> Your child's not getting a 10, all right? And the reason why is that one of the things that gets checked for is circulation, and babies get a little point knocked off because of their blue hands and their feet, which we just described as normal, all right? So immediately, your child's going to be penalized for normal behavior. All right, so nine is generally a top. <laughs>